How's it going, everybody? And welcome to Missing Picture, a spooky vibed indie story game where you play as a solo detective on the search for three missing children after the police have already given up on them. Welcome back. This is 91.5 Radio News with your host, Peter Gripe. A group of teenagers went missing while hiking three weeks ago. After numerous search parties failed to find the whereabouts of the missing children, police decided to stop the search despite the parents' deterrence. Vanilla Dean, the mother of Monica Dean, thinks her daughter is still out there, lost and afraid. If you have any information regarding Nick Jacobson, Monica Dean, or Marcus Blomqvist's whereabouts, please contact the local authorities. More at 6. Well, we won't give up on them. Good morning, Sunshine. You've arrived at the target Good area, morning. correct? Well, great. The group of three missing teenagers should have disappeared somewhere around here. We, as in you, have to get out there and find those kids, alright? Let's mm-hmm. brush up on the basics before you get started. Pick up the camera in the rear of the RV. You got my camera, got right? Great! Let's test it out. Try it out on the walkie-talkie, won't you? Hold right mouse button to aim the camera, then take a photo with left mouse button. It's a prototype, so you might need to be pretty close to the object before the automatic scanner picks it up. See that cassette tape on the counter? Very cool. We found it somewhere in the woods. The kids seem to have recorded it while out hiking. Try playing it. Now press B to open the book. 20th of June, 1987. We're here in the middle of the forest. There are various species of flora and fauna. The temperature is approximately 21 degrees Celsius. The time is 1907. Ain't that right, Nick? Hmm? What are you talking about? Just some research and stuff, you know? Hey, take my recorder. I'm back here. <laughs> You're always so serious, Nick. You and your books. How do you even have the energy to run around like that? I'm, I'm starving. Ah, of course you are, Mark. Come on. But stop. I need to get a little snack. Look at this specimen right here. A homo sapiens outside of its natural habitat. He's gone a whole one hour without sustenance. <laughs> if he doesn't stop to eat soon, he will starve. <laughs> hey, stop that. You're wasting tape. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See a glade up ahead. Let's stop there, Marcus. Yeah! Finally! Alright, try changing tabs by using the colored tabs on the left. All your information is stored here. The different tabs contain different info. List of entities, your collected Polaroids, the map of the area, missing people reports, as well as transcripts from the tapes. You can press escape to close the book. Wow, this is... Super, super cool. I am really loving the look of everything so far. Okay, so we have a decent amount of lore already to start off with. Let's go take a look back at these like entities, I guess. We have a troll, danger level medium, humanoid, large, very loud, uh, physical violence. Trolls are nocturnal entities turning into stone during the day. While their hair takes on moss-like qualities, they never wander into humans and keep themselves deep within the woods where they make homes out of cave systems. However, a troll does not like to be disturbed, so if you ever find a sleeping troll during the day, be kind or you'll have its mighty club struck down upon you. Entry 13, Nacken. Medium danger, humanoid, medium size, charming, mind-altering abilities. Like a siren, but a male it seems. Use their favorite violin to play enchanting music as a form of hex. Hearing one of Nacken's songs would lure the listener to it where they would promptly drown by the stream. One can avoid being enchanted by covering their ears or having an anchor, another sound, drown it out. Awesome. So I don't know if we'll be experiencing any of those or interacting with them, but very cool to see. Here's Marcus. Male, dark brown hair, green eyes, disappeared June 19th, 1987. 
was last seen wearing a black jacket. Monica, female, blue eyes, date of disappearance, same date. Was last seen wearing a pink and green vest in flashy clothes. And we have Nick, who went missing the same day, brown hair, hazel eyes, was last seen wearing a green beanie, carrying a bag and hiking equipment. So I wonder, we do have more of these entities. Danger level high, demon, medium, lots of fur, love of blood threat. Love of blood, threat category, physical violence. Ifrit, I've never even heard of that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this screen up so you guys can take a full look at all this. I'm just gonna sift through it real quick. Um, half human, completely forgone their human appearance. Donning the head of a goat. Avoid getting its attention while slowly leaving its field of vision. Escaping quickly would only make it think you're easy prey. Don't run from that. Danger level high, large, nocturnal hunter, physical violence, the werewolf. Cursed human transforms into a wolf. They really want the attention of humans, although it does not mean anybody could approach them willy-nilly. They'd face the consequences of 560 millimeter long teeth. Scary. So avoid all contact without sudden movements. The vast scare. Danger level, none. Type, living dead. Medium. Smells fishy. Uh, makes loud noises. And recognize them by their faint blue lights, watery surface, water surface. Completely harmless, unless you consider a lack of sleep a health concern. Stuff ears. A drog. Um, drog. Sharp claws and teeth. Stumble into the grave, try their hand at some grave robbery, they'd be met with great retaliation. If you happen to get to the attention of a drog, run for your life. They are ter territorial and will not hurt you if you're no longer considered a threat. Interesting. Like I said, I don't know if we'll be running into anything like that, but definitely take note that we have information on all of that. Good. Now go to the cork board and press E to interact with it. Here we go. The Polaroid of the walkie-talkie. Great. The board is used to place your photos of evidence to make guesses and theories regarding the case. It's really cool. We can access our book from here as well. Now, use the board to correctly attribute the voices found on the cassette tapes to the missing people's report. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Okay. Um, first person, I believe, was Monica. Second person, most likely Nick. Third person was Marcus at the end. Wow, good job. Now, leave the board by pressing escape. Anyways, that's the basics. Just leave the RV when you're ready to begin. Good luck. I am really enjoying the vibe of this game already. I know this is a little bit more casual, not as horror horror themed than we usually play, but we've been kind of going hard these last couple of uploads, so I thought we'd try out something a little bit more calm, but still has the um vibe of mystery and a little bit of spook well let's go see if we can find some kids man this looks beautiful and look at that we got a sick looking rv kind of reminds me of ben 10. so we can head down this path over here but it looks like we can also go this way oh wow we have a little hobbit hut here, and some bones. We'll hold off on that for now. I'm sure we can take a photo of that. Down here we got a well. Oh man, would you look at that. That's beautiful. Let's go check that out down here. Oh yeah, that looks great. Super cool. We can head off that way. Well, let's go check out the direction in front of the RV. I feel like that's probably where it wants us to go. Okay. Glade, zero out of five clues collected. 
that's definitely where that first recording was from. We got a bunch of clues here. Anchor chief. A red recorder. A map. Compass. And there's our second tape. And a quick snack bar. Let's give this a listen now that we have all the clues. Today is 20th June 1987. Time, Monica? Half past nine. Are, are you recording something? It's for his autobiography, for when he becomes famous. No, no, it's an audiolog. It's important for situations like these, since we're lost and all. Well, it's all Marcus's fault anyways. He was too busy thinking about food to focus. What? All, all you did was play with Mick's recorder, instead of actually focusing on where we're going. Both of you pipe down. All that matters right now is that we find a way out of here. Well, we shouldn't have strayed that far off the map, right? It says there's supposed to be a path up ahead. You sure? Yeah, I, I think I see something over there. Did you hear that? Hey! I, I think it's a house! Really? Maybe we can ask them for some directions. Seems like that's where the mystery is going to take us next. We'll go ahead and head down to the RV to put together those clues we just found. Well, it's a thick fog will hinder visibility for the night. Be extra careful going up the E-20. A truck has been said to have fallen over and help is on the way. As many of you already we're know, stuck a group of teenagers went missing while hiking three weeks ago. The kids are still missing. Oh, God. Although efforts have been made by the locals, the investigation is still ongoing. More at nine. Did that say behind the house? definitely what I heard. Okay, let's put these clues together real quick. Um, so from the second tape we got, Blink was responsible for the blink, but got distracted by the blink. Hmm. Was Monica on the tape was responsible for the map and was distracted by... the recorder yep that was it okay a little bit of foreshadowing there someone wanted something but they fell into a something and got attacked oh boy okay let's go check out where these kids went next Awesome looking house here. Okay, and we have 10 clues to find at the house. And there is one of them. We have an ax. Nothing behind it. Go check out this little shed. Got something over there, or in there. Okay, so we got some lumber. Not seeing anything else in here. Let's go get a picture of this. Is that a cigarette? Got some footprints. Something else up there. Is there anything behind the shed? Nope. Okay. Um. Let's just follow the footprints real quick. Ooh, that's uh, it's Marcus's jacket, I think, from the descriptions we read. Oh no, definitely a, a grave site, it's burial. Ooh, we got bones and a lighter. Well, if you guys saw the 
cryptids we were reading about. One of them was the uh, Drog. I'm thinking uh, something definitely happened to Marcus, it seems. See what we can find in the house. Someone in here? Nothing in the kitchen. Living room and storage are empty. We have a portrait here with some scratches. Take a picture of that. Nothing in the bedroom. Let's head on upstairs. Okay. Looks like the kids were camping out up here. And I'm just gonna check here real quick, but that is all three of our last clues. We had a painter in here. Let's go ahead and take pictures of these. And there's our third tape. Let's go ahead and give that a listen. It's summer, mist everywhere, and we're lost in the middle of fucking nowhere. Ain't that right, Marcus? <laughs> oh my god. We're, we're, we're never getting home, are we? That's right. We'll die here, gone and forgotten. I I need a smoke. I'm out of here. Oh, and of oh, course yep. he's having another one of his episodes. So, no food or water. We'll have to survive on our own rations for now. Did you seriously find nothing? Hey, at least we have a shelter. Well, I'm all tired. Let's wait for Marcus to come back, then sleep. Sounds like Marcus isn't gonna come back. Or at least it looks that way. All right, let's go ahead and turn these clues in at the RV. So Marcus went to go smoke and definitely fell into that grave. And as we saw in the beginning, if you need to go back, uh, you can go ahead and read those um, intros or entries. The uh, drog had the like grave or crypt. Um, sounds like Marcus wanted a uh, cigarette, but fell into a grave and got attacked by, oh, no way. That's awesome. We can drag from the journal as well. Super cool. Marcus wanted a cigarette, but they fell into a grave and got attacked by a drog. Yeah, let's send that. And it looks like we're going to the river next. When searching for someone, someone drops their thing while being enchanted by playing it. Okay. I think we well, know what we're going to encounter next. Is there a way to get to the river from here? Oh yeah, right over here. Man, this just looks so nice. Okay, river. Looks like we only have four clues on this one. We got some bullets. Interesting. We got a watch. Broken watch. There's our next tape. Oh no. Got a vest. And we have... Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, a violin. And that is all our clues for the river. Let's go ahead and take a listen to this tape. Marcus? Where are you? Marcus! Do you think he ran away because of me? No, no, it's fine. He has to be close. There's, there's no way he wandered far. Yeah, right, right. Let's keep track of the time, just in case. It's too dark to tell. Wait, I, I think I see some 
footsteps over there. Oh no. Ah! Monica? Wh what is it? It's, it's Marcus! No! <sighs> Monica, come back! You, Dang. You dropped your... Found his body. Hey, hey Nick? C can't you hear that? Oh, Monica, no. you're, you're just getting in enchanted. Shock. Just, just get back here. No, no. The sound, Nick. It sounds like music. No. What are you talking about? I, I, I can't hear any music. Marcus? Is that you? Wait, Monica. Come back. Monica! Dang. She got got. Okay, let's go turn these clues in real quick. I think I can piece together what happened. Man, just imagine being in this beautiful forest and uh, you just start getting picked off by these creatures. All right, so let's go to our people. When searching for Marcus, Monica drops their watch while being enchanted by it was the Nakin for while playing its violin. Okay, we're heading to the cellar next. I'm assuming that's the um, hobbit hole that we saw earlier. So, someone tries to search for answers in the hobbit hole. The blank breaks down the blank. Blank throws a blank as the defense, but dies in the end. Damn. Okay. So, hobbit hole's right there. Got some bones, and it looks like they came from this direction. Okay, cellar. Let's go ahead and get a picture of this. Got a busted door. Oh, there's a recording. Broken glass. Beanie. Encyclopedia. Blue recorder. Gotcha. That's everything in here. Let's go ahead and play that. Oh my god, Marcus. Monica, I'm sorry. Oh no, god, poor kid. I don't know what the fuck to do? God, it's all my fault. I, I shouldn't have. It just, just doesn't make any sense. What? What's that? The beast? Monica? Shit! Stay back! I, I'm not scared of you! Dang. You demon, you stay back! Stay back! My boy got eaten alive, it sounds. Oh, and real quick, I should have done this from before. If you guys want to read these transcripts, I can kind of scroll through these real fast. So those are going to be all the transcripts we have. Well, this might be our last one. I think that's all the kids accounted for. So we have Nick tries to search for answers in the encyclopedia, I'm assuming. The man, what lives in the like huts? Let's see. So feet who has tail horns on the head hmm. 
I'm gonna say it's the troll. My best, best idea. Troll breaks down the door. They nick again. Nick throws a glass. Oh no. Glass. Okay, so is it not the troll? So we return that. Leave that pinned. That's really cool that you can pin them. Half human, most have fur horns. Want anything? Is it this thing? Yep. Good evening. This is 91.5 Radio News with your host, Peter Gripe. The search for a group of teenagers who disappeared while hiking three weeks ago have ended in tragedy. A private detective successfully located the whereabouts of the missing teenagers Nick Jacobson, Monica Dean, and Marcus Blomfist. However, the children were found deceased at the time of their discovery. Damn, these cops these really suck. <laughs> That's pretty easy. Oh, and they, they stole our credit. Mind, some even claiming the supernatural. In other news this morning, we have in the studio with us. Damn, crazy. And that is going to be the missing picture. Like I said, I know this one wasn't really super scary, super horry, but uh, definitely had that mystery side, had a little bit of spooky vibes in it. Um, just wanted to try something a little bit more calm this time, and what an amazing title to give a shot and try out. I loved the design of it, loved the art in it, the assets are really, really cool. Um, and even the mechanics, that little board idea and being able to look at your tabs through a book, really, really cool to see. It seems like some kind of more advanced UI uh, than you see in most small little indie games. But I really, really did enjoy that. Super fun, very short, sweet. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on the game. I really love the vibe it delivered. Kind of reminds me of Spiderwick, and that was my jam when I was a kid. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like to show the support. Subscribe to be part of our community and be notified for the next video. And until next time, guys, see ya.